The author claims that electric vehicles have none of the harmful environmental effects that fuel-powered cars do. However, the author fails to consider how electric vehicles negatively impact the environment. While it is true that a battery-powered car will have zero emissions, we have to think about charging that battery. When we plug in our electric car every night, that power will most likely come from a power grid. But how is that power grid generating electricity? Well, there's a good chance that the source of electricity is coming from a coal power plant. Coal power plants generate 40% of the world's electricity. And as we know, burning coal produces a lot of carbon dioxide. And because coal is cheap, as the demand for electricity rises, it is likely that most power grids will continue to use coal. In order for the electric car to be truly emission-free, the source of its power must be clean energy. Unless the power grid uses solar or wind energy, then we cannot really say that the electric vehicles do not leave a carbon footprint. Next, the writer claims that EVs don't extract fossil fuels. Sure, this is true. However, in the manufacturing process, EV batteries do require extraction of lithium, and this has damaging environmental effects. In South America, the extraction of lithium requires a lot of water. Miners drill holes in salt flats and then pump the salt-rich waters up to the surface. What comes next is a repeated sequence of evaporation and filtering until finally lithium can be extracted. Miners use 500,000 gallons of water to obtain just one ton of lithium. This results in lower water tables and has devastating effects for local farmers. In Australia and North America, lithium mined from rock requires the use of chemicals in the extraction process. So, you see, mining for lithium is not environmentally friendly. Lastly, the writer believes that the repurposing of EV batteries is good for the environment. But even if we take full advantage of their second use, eventually we must think about their end life. These batteries will have to be recycled at some point, and this recycling process is not easy. First, it's very hazardous to disassemble lithium batteries. Electrocution is a risk. If the batteries short circuit, toxic and carcinogenic byproducts can result. Recycling the components of EV batteries requires highly skilled workers or the use of robots to reduce the risk to humans. But robot assembly lines for EV batteries are still years away. Highly reactive EV batteries cannot be thrown in a landfill or stockpiled due to their fire danger. Our current waste management of EV batteries is insufficient and our unpreparedness could have negative consequences for humans and our environment.